Jesus recommends three things that um, ought to be part of the life of every one of his followers. And he lists those as fasting, as almsgiving, and as prayer. And those have become the three traditional ways in which the, um, uh, in which a Christian is able to um, exercise the faith that he or she has received. Now, I think we need in time during these conversations together to think a little bit about those three uh, subjects, fasting, almsgiving, and prayer, whatever order in which you wish to do them, because they can be understood in a very trivial sense. And I would like to suggest that there's something very deep about them. So almsgiving can't be reduced down to giving a dollar to a beggar who accosts us on a city street. And fasting need not be identified strictly with the idea of not eating certain amounts of food, that even though the church does, as we know, induce us to refrain from, say, eating meat on Friday. But I think that's trivial to understand fasting in, in that narrow sense. And prayer is not the same as saying prayers. And I think, so I would like in my reflections to be able to think a little bit about those three, those three things uh, in a, a little bit more depth. So you don't fast because food is bad or that nutrifying ourselves is bad. That's a form of pathology. We, so we, when we talk about fasting or almsgiving or prayer, we need to think of those as exercises that are oriented towards a greater good.